I really like this thing because it talks about Beast. And I have... The first story I'm going to talk about is... I have a very big fondness of monkeys. And if you can't tell by looking at me, I'm Indian from, you know, India. So my last trip to India, like, um, I was walking around with my cousin. I'm like, yeah, we're going to go to this temple, check it out. Like, walking around. And I'm like, like, oh, my God, there's a monkey. And I'm like, he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a monkey right there. And I'm like, I'm going I'm to take a picture of it. And I take a picture. I'm like, I'm really, like, looking at the monkey, like, staring at it. Taking my time, like boom, take the picture. Then like, oh my god, monkey! Because I wanted to like hug the monkey, because I'm a little impulsive at times. You don't want to run in a monkey because they run away. So I think next time I see a monkey, I'm just gonna slowly walk towards it. Anyways, um, so I just wanted to talk about you know. So since I'm Indian, there's a. Uh, I like being Indian, and my father lives out in Lemonster, about like an hour away. And I'm really trying to develop a relationship with him because he's starting to get older. You know, like you know what it's like. It's like we have this stuff, things come up, yada yada. So I'm like, my way to do it is by spending an hour in the car with him from Lemonster to Boston. And we've been having this conflict because he really, really wants me to be like a doctor because I'm Indian, because I can only be a doctor, engineer, or lawyer because that's what Indians do. For some reason, that's all they do. But for some reason, I'm a social worker, and he's very confused. But my dad is at this point in his life where he's trying to figure out the world and stuff, and so he's listening to Wayne Dreyer. You, anybody know who Wayne Dreyer is? Spiritual guy. So I'm like, you know what? I want to I wanna connect with my father. I want to like have a connection with him. So I'm like, hey, Dad, why don't we listen to the Wayne Dreyer CD? So what is it? Wayne Dyer. See, I wasn't really listening to my dad. <laughs> he was probably mad if he came right down here, but that's okay. So Wayne Dyer. So I listened to Wayne Dyer CD, and we listened to it, and he talks about holding two things at the same time. And I'm like, wow, it's really interesting. And so we're listening to the, you know, the radio on the way to the, on to, on the way to Boston, and we start talking about NPR and how much. I like WGBH more than WBUR. This is quite like, yeah, I like WGBH more because, anyways, nonetheless. And you start talking about the different programs on there, and he talks about like how he doesn't like Diane Rain because Diane Rain talks like this. And I'm like, wow, I can actually kick my dad with this thing. Like, I don't like the way that her voice sounds. And okay, wait, disclaimer before that, like, don't like judge me on this thing. I was just like, you know, trying to kick my dad because I can't connect with him anything. He is a freaking doctor, I'm a social worker. Disclaimer, nonetheless. So I'm connecting with him. And then like my social worker light goes on. I'm like, wait, wait a minute, Diane Rain. She's talking like this, uh, like, you know, whatever way she talks about on the radio. And I'm like, there's got to be some reason, right? There's got to be some reason why she's talking like that. And I'm like, Dad, maybe she's talking about that because she's had a stroke. And he's like, no, 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 they shouldn't let people talk on the radio like that. They shouldn't talk like that way. I'm like. Dad, dude, maybe she had a stroke, maybe there's something else. And me, being like the techno nerd I am, I take out my Android, which battery's dead right now, unfortunately, <coughs> and I look up Diane Rain. So Diane Rain had this, um, some brain disorder. So that's why she talks like that. And I'm like, Dad, hello, open your mind. Like, you know, she's talking like this because of her disorder. Don't you think that this would, um, help somebody, help somebody really see like, just because you have this order that you can do whatever you want, that you can be somebody else like, because my dad's a doctor and he's kind of stubborn. I am too, that's why I'm a social worker. So um, anyways, so I felt really good. Then after like figuring that out, I'm like, I feel like I am a social worker. And was my too happy, he dropped me off somewhere in Boston. I got home somehow and that's okay. But nonetheless, that's my story.